welcome to Horror of Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror of Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror of Spice. And today on Graphic Novel Ideas, we bring you Clive Barker's Hellraiser Masterpieces. We have Eternity. The master of horror returns for the second offering of a truly poetic gore, blurring the lines between pleasure and pain. The greatest creatures in comic find themselves sketched together in Clive Barker's Cinnabite Cinnabox. Uh, sandbox with a hellishly del uh, delightful host of classic Hellraiser tales. Deep dive into the lands of Leviathan with Bernie Wright's uh, son, Swamp Thing, Kyle Baker, Nate uh, Turner, uh, Michael Zeke, Spider Man, Punisher, John Rosam, Ox Me, uh, Zombie. Oxby, uh, Colleen, Doran, A Distant Soil. Walk deeper in the bowels of hell as Pinhead, Face, and the rest of the Cenobites welcome you in open arms. They have such sights to show you. There is multiple stories yes. to this comic book. But first... We decided to pair that with Sabrita's Fiesta Blend Con Todo Para Todos uh, fa uh, favorites. You got Cheetos, Tobros Flamas, Ranch Ran Ranchettos, Rancheritos, Rancheritos, and Sember Atones. Is it spicy? Not really. That one wasn't. No, I can get like the little. Oh, I try this. Uh, the twist things have a little heat to them. I want to eat the twist things. The puff balls are fine. Not very spicy. Nope. Not good for me. <laughs> um, Masterpieces, like I said, comes in multiple comic book styles. We have styles like this. We have styles like this. And so on and so forth. Um, the two stories that uh, stand out to me is Face and this one that I'm looking at right now. Uh, With My Lips. Story by John Rosam and art by Don Rod uh, Wiggum. Uh, colors by Matt uh, Hollingsworth and lettering uh, letters by Michael Heisler. Um, this, uh, man is taken to the, uh, Leviathan Cenobite hell, and, uh, he is tortured by a female Cenobite who takes parts of his flesh and his body and transposes it upon her lover. And the guy, uh, even though he's being tortured and she's doing this to him, the guy falls in love with her. And, um... She takes piece by piece by piece, uh, giving the guy pleasure, whereas only giving the victim pain. And she ends uh, by taking uh, his lips off of his face and putting them on his lover. And then kissing the lover once uh, the skin settles on the face. Yeah, there's a lot of vivid imagery in here that, like some of the imagery, as you can imagine, can't show on YouTube of Hellraiser. Because it gets 
where it's, where it's each passing story in here it gets greater and greater and greater to me. It starts out with the face, which he's one of my favorite characters. So I had a, I had a, actually, I always like to go back and reread things with the face. The story that Mr. Horace Spice pointed out is really kind of a classic story. And I really love that one too. There's everything. This thing is just rich, full of stories about that world and Leviathan and Pinhead and the other Cenobites. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just can't go wrong with masterpieces. Also, something you need to be aware of uh, for you uh, uh, Hellraiser fans, but you've never read the comic books or gotten any, anything but the movies. Um, the Levi the uh, Lamit configuration, the box. Uh, it's not always a box. Sometimes it's a building. Sometimes it's a dance. Sometimes uh, it's a little uh, cuckoo clock. You know, it, it's so many different things. I, I'm the dance one. Even though there's no a, a whole lot of gore to it, the uh, beauty. The awe-inspiringness of it, and um, excuse me, um, the the sheer terror that comes across the victim's face at the end when he knows that he's opened up the gates of hell. Pure. Can't uh, can't uh, talk enough about this comic book. Gonna have to check it out yourselves. Comment down below what you think. We'd love to hear from you. From Horror of Spice. And Mrs. Horror of Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye. Bye.